Hi Team EQRC, this is Coach Wes and uh, this is a new format that we're going to try out uh, as part of our Sunday emails. And rather than writing you a lengthy email, we're hoping that these videos of maybe of two to three minutes might be a better way to deliver the information to you. So what we're going to look for at this week as far as our topic is just kind of the overall structure of our program and then how we want each week to be carried out. Now we know that we're involved in a 12 week program, we're two weeks into it. Um, our goal for our first three weeks is just kind of figuring out paces. So our Saturday mornings are nice and slow, our Thursdays, nothing too challenging just yet. Just trying to figure out what a good base pace is and what a good tempo or push pace is. We're going to use these first couple weeks and that will kind of guide us through the, the rest of the program so we fit, pick the right paces and then hopefully give us some goals as the, uh, the LA Rock and Roll Half Marathon comes around. So you guys will get the program eventually, but I just wanna, I wanna get through these first couple weeks before I get there and give you the entire structure. With that being said, let's talk a little bit more about how each week is laid out. We know that um, we're gonna meet together on Thursdays, and that's kind of our intensity day. And I, I say intensity because it's a high heart rate day. We'll be inside either use, using the treadmills for either uh, hills or speed. So that's kind of our high heart rate day. Saturdays we're going to get together, and so far we've just been focusing on dis distance, much like we will this coming week when we run in Crystal Cove for about six miles. And those are just kind of a, a long distance, long slow distance type of a workout where no speed is wrong, the slower the better. So not a high heart rate, we want more time on the legs. Eventually what we're going to work into on our Saturdays is incorporating some tempo workouts. We'll introduce that in about two weeks, once we've had the first couple weeks to kind of identify a good tempo pace for all of you. And those tempo workouts that we might do together might be two mile repeats, or mile and a half, or even working our way up to three mile repeats. So when you guys do eventually get the overall program you see tempo for a, a Saturday workout, just know that that's a little bit more of a, a team speed slash endurance type of a day. The other day that we're asking you guys to run is on Monday. And what we're asking for you to do on Monday is either is basically whatever we didn't do on Saturday. For example, this past Saturday we did a little under six miles of kind of distance, slow speed. So tomorrow, being Monday, I'm going to ask you to do a tempo workout. This Monday's tempo workout is a timed 5K. Now this timed 5K, which is 3.1 miles, you can do indoors or outdoors. And you're basically just trying to figure out what your tempo speed is. Now tempo is always like... 80 to 85 percent effort level it's that comfortably uncomfortable speed and it should be something that we can run for 20 to 25 minutes so just play around with what that speed should feel like again there's nothing that says this is the right speed or this is the wrong speed if you're finding that it's too quick during your 5k then we just might have been aspiring a little too high with our tempo speed and that's fine because we will progress up to that point we might not be there just yet so those are our three days, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Here's how we want the rest of the week to lay out. If we run on Monday, we're thinking that Tuesday would be a great day for you guys to do some form of strength training, whether it's a group fitness class, working with a personal trainer, or doing weights on your own. A lot of research shows that a hard weight workout the day after a hard running workout actually can help you uh, build that strength of the muscle even better. So we're hoping Tuesday would be a strength training day for you. We figured Wednesday would be a good cardio cross training day whether it's the bike, the elliptical, the spin bike, stair mill, swimming, anything that gets you a good cardiovascular burn without being too taxing on the legs. Thursdays, obviously, we'll be together. Fridays, we thought would be a good either rest day or yoga day. And if it's yoga, just take it nice and easy. Um, if you have any recommendation, or if you need a recommendation on uh, what type of yoga, what instructor, ask myself, Coach Michelle, or even we can resource our uh, group fitness manager Angela Lee and she can always give us a good referral. Saturdays we're obviously together and then Sundays we're going to ask you to do whatever you didn't do on Friday. For example, if you did yoga on Friday, I want Sunday as a rest day. If Friday was a rest day, Sunday, Sunday might be a good yoga day. So again, that's three days of running, a strength day, a cardio cross training day, and one day of yoga. That would leave one day of rest and that should give us a good overall program. I found from my own experience, I know Coach Michelle is, has as well, three days of running is all we're going to need throughout this program. I guarantee you, you will make all the changes you want to make cardiovascularly as the 12 weeks progress. We just have to have your legs in shape for it. If you guys have any questions, let us know. A lot of this information will be uh, detailed out in the email that this link is uh, attached to. But if you have any questions, just email, email us as always. Alright guys, talk to you soon. Take care.